Welcome back to SA Live. Boy, if that doesn't make your mouth water, a big old plate of jerk chicken from the Jerk Shack. Great Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine. But Chef Butch says it's not what we're making today. Yeah. It's not what we're making today. Good afternoon, sir. Good to yes, see you. Welcome. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. So All you're right. spicing things up today with a, I'll let you reveal what you're making. Uh, we're going to do jackfruit <laughs> today. We're going to we're gonna jerk jackfruit. Um, everybody knows about jerk chicken. Uh, most people know about fried chicken. Some people know about the beef patties, but a lot of people don't know that we do have vegetarian options and we do have vegan options. Mm -hmm. And one of them is jackfruit, and that's what we're gonna do today. All right. Well, Does it cook started. up kind of the same as chicken? It, it, it's very similar to some kind of meat. I, mean, I would say even more on the beef side, honestly, it's kind of interesting in that way. But it does take on whatever it you're asking for it. So it itself doesn't have any sort of a real distinct flavor, but when you put all the jerk spices right. in it, then, then it, 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 it definitely tastes, tastes a little bit more like jerk chicken or jerk meat or whatever we're doing at the time. Okay, sure. what are we guys? Uh, yes, is that a good amount of onions? That's a good amount. They're you got your onions going on, a little dance there. I mm -hmm. like that. That's really good. <laughs> so then we'll just get that jackfruit in there. And you can see what it looks like yep. here. Look at that. Yep. And right. that's just cut right out of yeah. the... Yep, yeah. right, right off the plant. How and would so you the, describe the, the texture? The texture is very meaty. Mm -hmm. um, I usually say that most people that are vegetarian that miss the texture of meat, this is your guy. Mm -hmm. This is your go-to guy. Just um, yeah, just do a little bit in there. You Don't want to go crazy. He's the expert. You're good, you're good, you're good. That's good right <laughs> okay. there. And then move that stuff around. You can and, you can use grandma's wooden spoon. Right. And this could grandma's be in a obviously in a, a Jamaican dish, but any other meat replacement in other dishes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, exactly. You could you could you could stew it. You could make it into taco meat. You could make it. A, you can do anything with it. You could barbecue. I like doing it with barbecue sauce. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's really good. Really, um, it's really good. And you just opened up a new place there on the, the west side, right? Yeah. So we we left ourselves. We left our our little shack in the west side off of Commerce, and we moved over to. Uh, 151 and military right there uh, by SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. Nice, that's a good location. Yes, it's a very good location. All so, right, so are we ready for our yeah, so OG? Yes, so are you ready for it? <laughs> now get the OG in there. Right. Just let it go all over that. All over. And there this you has go. a nice kick for those yes. who may not be familiar yes. with this kind of... This is the jerk sauce, the the famous jerk sauce right here. What is, what are the spices and what is jerk sauce? Um, it's, I would say, kind of similar to like mole. It's got a lot going on in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can have as, as much as seven ingredients to as, as much as 25 ingredients in it. Um, but mainly it's got a lot of chili, um, vinegar, onions, peppers, all the good stuff in life. I love all the flavor combinations. Yep, all the good stuff in off. life. Where did you learn how to make all the, the good Jamaican food? Uh, honestly, just, you know, yeah. always we got used to cooking different kinds of food. Mm -hmm. um, and Jamaican food touches on a lot of different kinds of cuisines. Because that was kind of the center of the world, yeah. really, with all the, the trade going exactly. around the world from not only, say, Europe and Africa, but yep. also from East Asia. Exactly, too, right? and from and from the Latin countries, South America, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So it, um, it it really is a lot of fun to cook if you've cooked a lot of different kinds of cuisines. I'll eat with I'll eat with a large <laughs> spoon here because I'm going to try well, this. We've we so. got the big grandma spoon. We'll do the I'm going to do the big grandma spoon here. So. And that does have the a texture of just meat. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's really interesting, especially because most people see the, see the plant or the fruit mm -hmm. in the store and they go, that is an interesting yes. fruit. If you've seen it, you'll know. It's just, it's huge. It's, it's kind a of huge spiky looking. Spiky, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you said, as, you know, there's such a melting pot here as far as cuisines, but not as much. Caribbean, right? Yeah, exactly. That was the one. A few places around the country. Yeah, that was the one niche that we saw that wasn't really filled here as people were starting to move here to San Antonio. We did not see a lot of Caribbean food. Um, you know, you see it in New York, you see it in Atlanta, you see it in California. Um, and as people are starting to move to San Antonio, um, they're ready for this. They're ready for this. And some people are used to this. They just, uh, it reminds them of home. And we're going to make one more thing, right? While you. Yeah, we're going right. to do one I'm more thing. We're, we're going to really put you to work today. <laughs> So okay. you got. So I added my onions and oil. Okay. What's next? And then you're going to go to your your little your oh, big you. peppers and onions okay. there. Okay. So what else is on the menu? Because you've got some good uh, vegan and vegetarian dishes, right? So yeah, like we're this. gonna we're, now we're gonna do a curry dish. So I want to say last time I was here, didn't we do like curry shrimp? I made mm -hmm. you work really hard that day. And he made the curry that day. He right? did. Mm -hmm. He broke down the curry. So I today I, I got us the curry sauce already made. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna make the curry today, but we're gonna do a curry cauliflower. Oh nice. Uh, cauliflower again 
is a really cool substitute for meat. Um, it's very high in protein, um, but it also takes on a lot of flavors that whatever you put with it. So kind of like the jackfruit, um, it's fun to mess with if you want to go, okay, I can make a vegetarian dish with cauliflower. And like you said, one of those dishes, those vegetables that has so much good stuff packed in it. Exactly, right? exactly. Okay. And, and our curry um, is like, where we, I think last time we talked about the Jamaican curry, it's a little bit different, mm -hmm. a little saltier. Indian yeah, than the okay. Indian oh, one. The Indian go. one's a little sweeter. All right, well, don't forget, you're out there at 151. The exact location <laughs> is? The exact location is Suite 103 10234. 151 in Military, right there by SeaWorld. Okay, right. if you want some yeah. great yeah. Caribbean, Jamaican cuisine, head on out there. And for more information on the Jerk Shack, of course, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that little QR yeah. code right there in the bottom left-hand side of your screen. Thank you very Thank much. You. No, always a pleasure, always mm. a pleasure.